Drying Celosia, presented by MidSouthGardeningAdvice.com. Celosia is a fascinating plant, which has been a popular garden annual since the 18th century. I love the vivid color it produces on the flower heads. Also, it's one of the most versatile, herbaceous plants for cut plant production. On a smaller scale, it's easy for the backyard gardener to have success planting and growing this annual for fun and for profit. Celosias are separated into three major groups, the plume type, the crested type, which looks like a rooster's comb, and the wheat type, which looks like a wheat head. The flowers come in many shades of red, purple, gold, orange, and yellow, including multicolored flower heads. When harvesting, you'll want to harvest your celosia before its seeds mature and drop. Then harvest during a dry spell to assure a fast drying time and to maintain maximum color. Do this on the crested variety when the center of the head has expanded but before outer edges begin to discolor. Plume and wheat types should be harvested when 50% of their flowers are opened. Next, strip all the foliage off each stem and on the crested celosia, remove as much as possible of the fuzz on the broader upper part of the stem without harming the sturdy crest. Last, hang each stem individually upside down with a rubber band or place two stems together being sure to separate them when you hang them as I did with these coat hangers in the pictures. I hope you'll enjoy growing and harvesting and drying celosia as much as we do and enjoying them in your own dried arrangements. Thanks for stopping by and I hope this video has been helpful. For more gardening advice please visit our website at www.midsouthgardeningadvice.com and even get a free download just for signing up for our newsletter.